Oh, for heaven's sakes. I checked this. This was open. Hey everybody, Lux Into Swirl here. Welcome back to my Paper and Other Obsessions channel. We are going to return to the land of tie-dyeing today. <laughs> not because I'm that avid a tie-dyer, I'm really not. But I was scrolling through Michael's sale directory recently and I noticed that they had this kit on sale, a reverse DIY tie-dye kit. And I didn't know what reverse tie-dyeing was until I read up on it a little. It's similar to the idea of using bleach to make designs on shirts. I will add a link below to a really good video on using bleach to get different designs on t-shirts because that looks like fun and I might try that. If, if you want me to try that here on this channel at some point, let me know. Reverse tie-dyeing is only partly with bleach. The bleach is to get out the color that's already in the shirt and then you add new color and that's where the tie-dyeing part comes in. When I checked the reviews on this kit, it turned out that a number of people had trouble with the fact that there were basically no instructions <laughs> and they didn't know what reverse tie-dyeing was, so they didn't know what to do. So that's why I've read up on this already. So let's take a look at what's in here. Okay, so we have our bleach. They're calling it a color changer, calcium hypochlorite. Okay, so form of bleach, we will mix that up and use it to bleach the color out of our shirts. And then these are our two color options for adding color back into the shirt. We have blue <laughs> and we have green. Lots of color options. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we get. There is an instruction booklet. May cause staining before heat setting. Prepare the fabric, shake well before use. I don't think they mean the fabric. I think they mean this, and possibly also the paints. For best results, use black or colored fabric. Okay, I went out and purchased at Walmart two um, basic black cotton t-shirts. So that's what we'll be bleaching and then dyeing today. Pre-washed it, did that. Dry it, did that. Prepare the work area. Well, it's, it's a mess, so that should be fine. Wear plastic gloves. I think these are included. Yep, rubber bands and remove the seals from the bottle caps. Okay, I'll have to do that. Fold, roll, twist, or bunch your project for the desired effect. Apply bleach to the fabric, unfold fabric, and remove rubber bands. So the first thing we have to do is bleach our black shirts. Okay, so I'm just gonna start rubber banding like I did last time. We will fast mow through this because it's, it's very tedious. I am not doing any sort of rhyme or reason here. If you want to see an absolutely amazing tie-dye video, Sandy Tubia over at Sandy's Shed House did a phenomenal t-shirt tie-dyeing video not that long ago. I will link to that below also. That was true t-shirt tie-dyeing art. It's way, be way beyond my patience level. <laughs> All right, put the rubber bands away. Now I will put down the table cover. I think if you wanted to do this again, just a, a large trash can liner would probably work fine for this. It's interesting, the picture shows that there's a little, um, you know, tip, but there's not. This is the only cap for this. It's not even sealed on the inside. The only bottle tips are on the paint already, so clearly that's something they decided to leave out of the final packaging. Look at that! I saved these from, these were extras from uh, some other bottle, probably a small bottle of resin, and uh, look! Yay! So now we have the applicator tip we need. Time to go here. Doesn't even say, you know, how long to shake it up or anything. These directions definitely could use a little embellishment. Yeah, okay, there's our two fluid ounces. Wow, that's helpful. It just shows somebody, you know, putting the bleach on. All right.
Okay, well now I guess I can, according to this, take the rubber bands off. I'm just gonna cut them. Let it sit here. If it picks up some more bleach from what's on here, I don't, I don't think it matters at this point. Just cover these up. I'm gonna let them sit for four hours and I'm gonna wash them in hot water and then dry them and then we'll be back to do the next step. And we're back. Okay, so it took a little work. <laughs> Apparently my dryer doesn't like drying just two t-shirts. I must have put it through three high heat dry cycles before these shirts were even actually dry. And my dryer usually works fine, but just couldn't handle two t-shirts. <laughs> So anyway, this is how it turned out. It looks pretty good. This is just one of the shirts. I'll show you the other in a second. Now we add color back in. And I, I wanna take a second here because it is a, a different day. I started this video yesterday and today is May 31st, I believe. Tomorrow's June 1st, yeah. So May 31st, Jezza released his latest video where he did work with bleach in different art forms. Apparently he, he had never heard of doing such a thing before, which really surprised me. But anyway, the reason I bring it up is one of the things he, he did was he worked with t-shirts and then he did a modeling montage at the end. And if you're into that, <laughs> I will tell you that two years ago, Anthony Crammon did his own bleaching t-shirts video and his modeling montage is infinitely better than Jazz's. So I will link to that below. And of course, I'm gonna model these two shirts when we're all done and it won't be anything like either one of those guys because I'm not a good looking guy. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. So here's one of the shirts and here is the other one. This obviously got a little more bleach on it. Uh, I, I was sort of rushing at the end, another confession here, because <laughs> I was being overcome by bleach fumes. Uh, I thought I had pretty good ventilation set up in here, but it, it was really working a number on me. Um, my sense of taste still hasn't come back completely. <laughs> so be warned, lots of open windows and fans going if you work with bleach inside the house. Let us get started. I'm going to put one of these shirts aside. Apply colored dye to the lighter areas of the fabric as desired. <laughs> That's it, that's really it. Let dyed fabric sit overnight for brighter results. Allow project to air dry. Place in the dryer on high heat for at least 20 minutes to set the dye or iron on high setting. I don't have an iron, so we're not doing that. Dye must be heat set to avoid washout, then wash project on regular cycle with no other items in the wash cycle and dry as usual. Our blue and our green. Now the obvious thing since I have two shirts is to do one in green and one in blue, but honestly that seems a little boring and predictable, don't you think? So I think I'm gonna do both colors on both shirts. Luckily, since I fostered puppies, I have a lot of pee pads around. <laughs> you know, if this doesn't work out perfectly and some bleeds through, I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it either. There were no seals in this, so you just twist it open and it's ready to go. So here we go. that sit overnight and then we'll get the other tie-dye kit colors and see if we can get any results on the other shirt. This is from the other kit. We have to mix these colors up. I picked two blues and a green. New plan. I'm going to use the same two colors. These are I think a little nicer looking than those. But anyway, this is not lime green. This is a more emerald green and a more turquoise blue. Thank you. 
The one we did first with the paints that actually came in this kit, I will put in a hot dryer and set the paint that way. This does not need to be. This needs to be rinsed out in cold water and then both shirts get washed and dried. Hopefully all will go well. We'll see it at the end. Stay tuned for the big montage.